Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. In today's video, I'm going to be creating this eyeshadow look using the Storybook Cosmetics Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette. Now, this is not a new palette by any means, but it is like new to me. This is the first time that I am using it. So let's go ahead and get started with the eye look. Hey guys, <clears throat> all right, so you can tell that I've already got on my base makeup. I don't know if that was smart or not, but we're going to go ahead with it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have on the rest of my face. I still did like my quick-ish makeup. All right, for the base, I put on my Biro Tomato Serum. I am almost out of this. I'm going to have to try to look on BoxyCharm, like on their sales, and see if they have any more of these that I can buy. But I mix this serum with my Becca. This is the Skin Love Weightless Blurring Foundation. I'm just trying to use up the little bit that I have left. So both of these will probably be out about the same time. So that worked out nicely. And then for concealer, this is another one that I am almost out of. This is the One Size by Patrick Star. I have mine in the shade Light 1R. I set everything down with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I have mine in the shade NW13. And I hit Pan in here, another MAC powder that I'm going to use up. These powders are so freaking good. They've got such good coverage and like, it, your makeup is like locked in, I swear, when you use these powders. I also used a MAC bronzer. This is just from one of their summer limited edition collections. This is the Beijing Beauty. All of the bronzers from MAC that I have tried, I have loved. So, so good. Now, I wanted to use a Ofra highlighter today because the 21 Days of Beauty sale is going on at Ulta and these are on sale today. I also tested out a Ofra On The Glow Pro palette yesterday. I will link that down below, but it had, it was a full face palette of highlighters and bronzers. So again, I wanted to use this because in that palette, the, sh the powders themselves, when you swirled your brush in it, they were just really crumbly, had a ton of fallout. So I was like, let me try one of my singles and see. And guys, this quality in the singles is a lot better, except probably for like that blissful shade. That blissful shade was popping and the bronzers I thought were fine, but I don't know. This highlighter here, yeah, I swirled my brush in here, had zero issues with that. Um, that is what I have on my face. I love this highlighter so much. All of the Ofra highlighters. I don't think I've tried an Ofra highlighter that I have not liked. And then for my blush, I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cheek to Chic blush in the shade Ecstasy. And of course, it is just a nice peachy color. Brows, I am still using this Anastasia Brow Wiz that I got in my Ipsy unbagging. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I forgot how freaking easy these pencils are to use. Like, and I do like, I feel like they look cleaner than what I've been using the brow pomade recently. So, I kind of wish I wouldn't have tried this again because you do go through them so quick. But, Let's go ahead and get into the bulk of today's video, shall we? That is the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette from Storybook Cosmetics. I've had this for a while. It did have like a little slip cover that went over it. Um, that was like the packaging, kind of like the Ofra deal where it just had like a sleeve that looked exactly the same as the actual product itself. But this is the palette here. If you look at the top of it, it looks like little pages. Obviously, if you had this standing up like on a shelf, these look like books. I do have several of these at this point. I think this is probably like my fourth or my fifth one. So I am not new to this brand at all, but I've had this palette for a while and I just haven't used it yet. I wanted to use it on camera because it is super, super cute, especially if you're like a fan of the movie. So we're going to go ahead and get in. This palette normally retails for $55. However, it is on sale. Actually, a lot of the palettes on Storybook Cosmetics are on sale for $30. So that I feel like is a really good deal. I definitely would feel like this is worth it if you like these colors to pick up at $30. I probably wouldn't spend $55. And I do think when I bought this, I got it on sale as well. But yeah, these are made in the U.S. It's cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, um, 
yeah, and it's super cute. It is bulky to store, I will say that, but it's super cute. Okay, so you open this up. What was that, guys? The golden ticket, buddy. This is the Wonka golden ticket. Many wonderful surprises await you. So that is like the little, you know, protector sheet in here. So freaking cute. I love that little detail that they did. You can keep that and hold on to it, which I will because freaking adorable. And then on the little mirror in here, which I'm not going to blind you guys, but it says tremendous things are in store for you. Now you are getting 12 different eyeshadow shades. I love that you can create very, very natural looks with this. Like I'm thinking, you know, just like some crease type shades and maybe like this on the lid. That would be a very, very like neutral type of a look, which we're going to kind of do a neutral look because I do have to go to work. But um, I love that you could just pop some of these like bright shades just on the lower lash line or just as an upper lash liner. I think that's like a beautiful pop of color, just, you know, some neutral colors on the eye and then just a pop of color for liner. So pretty. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go in. I love the names of these as well. Like you've got Charlie Bucket, Snozberries, Augustus Gloop, Mike TV, Willy Wonka, Oompa Loompa, Fizzy Lifting Drink, Veruca Salt, Everlasting Gobstopper, Violet Beauregard, Wonka Bar, and last off is Golden Ticket. You had to have Golden Ticket in there, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go in, and I think I'm going to use Augustus Gloop first. I pulled you guys in a little bit closer so you could really see what exactly I was doing. But yes, I am going to go in with this nice, like, neutral shade, Augustus Gloop. And I think I am going to actually kind of use this uh, mirror in here as well. So I'm just taking this on a big blending brush. This happens to be from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the brush L26, just a big fluffy blending brush. I do really like her brushes, though, I will say. I do have a video testing out her whole like birthday collection. I can link that down below. But yeah, if you are in need of new brushes, hers are good and they're affordable. Okay, that is a gorgeous crease shade. If you are anywhere near my skin tone, that is a good one. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is like stained from a previous shadow that I have used. But I really want to go into this Snozberries color, so that's what I'm going to do. I will say that these have like zero fallout. So after I was tapping into this shade, you can see there's like relatively no kick up. These shadows are just, they're so good. Anytime I've ever used these, and that's why like I'm using pretty bright shades and I've already done my makeup. Usually that would be like no-no, you know what I mean? But I don't know, with these shadows, I just, I have never had any issues with them blending out, any issues with just like making a huge mess, nothing like that. So, we shall see if that stands true with this palette. But as you can tell, I mean, everything is just working like I am not having to work you know what I mean I'm just dipping my brushes in and rolling with it now I'm gonna take a little flat eyeshadow brush and I want to go into this shade right here which is Wonka bar it's just like a deep and it's really a cool undertone type of a brown I am gonna tap this off just because that is a very deep color I would rather be safe than sorry but I'm going to pack just a little bit of this on this outer corner over here. Dipped in just one more time. And I just want a little bit of definition. So I'm kind of doing this like with my eyes open, just so I can see what it's going to look like, like when people are looking at me, you know what I mean? Now, I have been wanting to try this shade, Fuzzy Lifting Drink. 
That's like one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. So I just, I had to try this one. And I'm just going in with my finger, obviously, with this shade. And when I'm getting over here, I am really just kind of tapping that. All right, I'm going to go in just one more time and really just kind of pack it on the front half of the lid. And I'm really just kind of using like a pressing and slightly pulling motion. But very light. You don't want to be tugging on that gentle eye area. Okay, I'm going to go back in with this brush. I freaking love that Snozberry's color. So I literally just, you could see how I dipped in there. It was like one little, one little dip. And I'm just going to go back over this crease. Okay, now I'm going to take my super tiny little fluffy brush from, I think this is a Luxie brush. I'm going to go into this Charlie Bucket shade. It does have some shimmer, so I'm not exactly sure, but I really just kind of wanted to run this right on the outside edges just to kind of blend those out and up. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do, I think. I may put on, I may do one additional thing. I'm going to get this little liner brush, and I'm going to go back into this Veruca, oh, sorry, Wonka Bar shade, and I think I'm going to line my upper lash line a little bit. Not a lot. Just like that. All right, I guess for the lower lash line, I really don't know what I want to use. I think I'm gonna keep the look just kind of matching and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Snozberries again. I freaking, I really love this shade. It is like a neon orange. And I love oranges and reds on the eye. I just think they look really flattering. Okay, so there is that. And then, then of course, I'm gonna take this little liner brush and I'm gonna go back into Wonka Bar. And just on the outer third over there, I'm gonna add a little bit of definition just by smudging this. So I'm gonna get as close to the lashes as I can. And I'm just gonna take this brush and smudge out this outer third. And I just feel like it picks up your eye. This is one of like my favorite little techniques to do. All right. Then I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and I think I'm gonna go into this Charlie Bucket shade. Honestly, looking at it, it looks, sorry, honestly, looking at it, it looks like it's got some kind of, like, green and yellow reflex in it. I think that might look really good, like, tapped over that Mike TV shade. I think that that could be, that could be a good one, and I might have to try that one on camera. All right, so that is a pretty shade. Then I think I'm going to go into just this fizzy lifting drink. I am going to tap that off and I'm going to put that right here. Okay. I am going to go ahead and catch up the other eye. I'm going to put on my mascara and we will see what the final look is. 
Okay, so this is the completed makeup look. What do you guys think? The only thing I did was threw on my MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. I have been really liking this mascara. I also put on my Hip Dot and Clueless Lip Oil. This is in the shade Share, and out of that three pack, this is my favorite one. And yeah, I mean, I really like the way that everything looks. I think it's colorful, but it's not like too much, you know what I mean? I've kind of kind of got that like ketchup and mustard thing going on, which I didn't really pay attention to, but I think it looks fine. The thing that gets me is that everything performed so, so well. I mean, you saw how easy it was to create this look. I already had my base done. I had no issues with fallout or anything like that. I just think these are so easy to work with and the thing that I love so much about Storybook Cosmetics is that the colors that you think you are getting, you actually are getting when they're applied to your eye. It doesn't look deep in the pan and then when you put it on, the color is barely there. It really is a what you see is what you get kind of situation and they are just so easy to work with. I cannot emphasize that enough. For $30 for 12 shades, I think that that's a decent price. It's a little bit over $2 in eyeshadow. And I will say that all of these are pretty unique. Other than, I mean, you know, these three. But this is such a good crease shade. And this is kind of, it's got a like cooler take on brown. These shades kind of can come off intimidating I think looking at this palette and trying to create looks but all of these shades really go so well together I've said it so many times but reds and purples go really really well together reds and orange obviously go really well together it's actually a pretty decent color story in terms of something that is unique to my collection and I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes so I do love that about it as well. It's made in the U.S. I love supporting things that are made in the U.S. right here at home but yeah I think it's super cute. It's a little bulky that's the only thing I'll say but for $30 I would pick this up. $55 I might skip but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you my next one. Bye!